Good morning. This is John Tell with Sentiment to Gifts Unlimited. Today we will be working on planting plants in irregular shaped containers. So today I have an irregular shaped container that um, I just adored. And it's a process that you go through with picking a plant for the container. Sometimes I get the plant first and then I pick the perfect container for the plant. And sometimes it's the opposite. So I ran into this container, had to have it. Um, we're going to work on planting that today. I'm going to show you the different um, things that you can do to um, fill in the irregular space. Um, so stay tuned. We'll be right back. Good morning and thank you for tuning in to Rooted in Sentiment. My name is John Tell. Today we'll be taking a look at how you can get away with putting a plant into a container that is not specifically a planter and it may not have a drain hole. Um, so for purpose of today's show, I will show you how we're going to take this container. Absolutely adore this container. It has an irregular shape. And it does not have a drain hole. So I'm going to show you how we're going to put a plant in here. And it's going to actually live and thrive, turn into a beautiful piece of plant art. So at Sentimental Gifts Unlimited, there is an art that goes into picking out a plant for a particular planter. Um, as I said earlier, it could go back and forth. Sometimes I start with a particular plant that I like and then I go find a specific planter. For today, I found this planter um, or this container. We'll say container for purposes of the fact that you may find a container that is not made for plants or not a planter. Um, but this is the container that we'll be using today. Um, this piece looks powerful to me and it also looks peaceful. Um, looking at it, this back actually extends out. This is the back, this is the front. It extends out further than the base. So whenever I see a pot like this, what makes me, what I think of is how the plant is going to sit into this planter. Okay, and so because of this planter has so much detail that I don't want to cover up, I'm gonna make sure that I put a plant in here that grows up. So I'm gonna stay away from like vine um, crawling type plants and do something that kind of sticks up. And so I go through the process of figuring out just by, I put the plant behind it. So you can kind of get an idea what it'll look like. So, so that's how I decide which one is going to go on. For today, I already went through that process. I'm not going to show you that because I have so many plants. But this is the one that I decided would be perfect. You see that? And not only do you have to decide what you're going to put in there, you also have to decide how you're going to put it in there. So I could have the smaller piece in the back. And it will look like this or I could have the smaller piece in the front and it will look like this and so you kind of play around with it uh, to see which way you like it to sit I actually think that I like it like this let me show you this is how to look front ways and this is how to look from the side so once I determine how I want that plant to look in that container, um, then I go to the next step. So the next step, we're gonna fill this container. Also, um, whenever you are picking out a plant for a specific planter that you know has an irregular shape or again may just be a container you're turning into a planter, um, you always wanna consider how the roots grow. Um, so I already put that in consideration whenever I pick the plant that I pick for this plant. Um, you want to stay away from the fibrous, tuberous type roots. Whenever you do put something in an irregular shaped container, you have to think about the process of having to replant. Um, you also have to think about um, the, root, the way the root system grows. Um, this particular planter is ceramic. And so if that root system is, is kind of rough, uh, like what I see a lot of times with the snake plant, it may even push out the side of this planter and, and cause it to break. 
Um, so always consider how that root is going to grow in that planter as well. Um, when it comes to the irregular shape of it, in some scenarios, this one isn't too bad, but in some scenarios where you don't have like that, that perfect round and you get ready to repot and you're pulling that root out, you loosen it around the sides and pull it out, sometimes it can get caught up in the irregular shape. So like right in here, um, I'm not going to be using anything with roots that will get caught up in here whenever I try to take it out to repot it. So always think about those things um, before you start your project. Okay, so now that we have our container and we have, we've picked out the plant that we're going to use, um, because this container, again, has no drain hole, we have to create the perfect environment for our plant to grow in this container. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a drainage layer to the bottom of this container. We're going to do that with just some rocks. You can do it with sand. Um, you can use rocks, the pebble rocks. Um, and because of the size of this container, the depth of it, um, I'm going to use a particular size rock. So we're going to fill the bottom with the rocks. We want to cover the bottom completely. So I don't know if you will be able to see that, but the whole bottom we want that to be covered completely. Now for me, on top of this layer of rocks, I'm also going to add a layer of the horticulture charcoal. Um, this is also a very good step, very important step. Um, the charcoal, it, it prevents bacteria growth in the bottom. It stops uh, you from getting root rot, stops a lot of the, the bad bacteria and stuff from growing. And so we definitely wanna add that to the bottom of that container. I'm going to add just a little bit more rocks to fill it in, to fill my bottom in. Okay, so now I have my horticulture charcoal, the example of one that I use. And again, we're going to add this a thin layer on top of the rocks. Um, this is going to actually help with drainage, um, helps with the, the moisture control, and it also conditions the soil and adds nutrients for the plant. So this is what it looks like. So again, we're just gonna add a little thin layer. Okay, so once I have my drainage layer of rocks on the bottom and then I have my horticulture charcoal, um, once we add that, then we're ready for the soil. For this particular plant, again, um, this plant is uh, related to jade. It's in the jade family. These plants don't like too much water. Another reason why we uh, it's very impor important to have that drainage layer in the bottom. And also because of that, that helps me determine which type of soil I'll be using. And so for this particular plant, because it doesn't really like a lot of moisture, we're not going to use a moisture holding soil. We are going to use a soil that is for succulents and cactus. And I'm going to use this soil and I'm actually going to mix it up. I do a lot of, of mixing, you guys. Um, but this, I'm going to show you another example of the soil type that you want to use for plants that do not like a lot of moisture. This is another type here. The miracle Grow Cacti Palm. Alright, so this is the soil we'll be using today. And I'm going to put a layer of this on the bottom, on top of that charcoal layer. And it can be messy. Um, so you definitely want to make sure you do this in, in the proper area. Um, this is where I do all of my planting and work. This table is made for that, so it's not a big deal if I spill anything on it. All right, so I think I have enough in there to start out. Now, and this actually is not the container that this plant came in. I, I, I do a lot in here. but So this is not the actual container that I bought this in. You want to take your container out, I mean your plant out your container. That was very easy to do because whenever I know I'm going to be working 
um, with plants um, and their roots. Um, I don't have them too uh, wet, so I don't deal with uh, a lot of mud. So this one came out pretty easily. All right, so now you gotta be very gentle whenever you are removing the dirt from around the roots. So I wanna loosen this up as much as possible give it the freedom to grow into this new container. Be very gentle. I kind of just loosen up over the top. And I don't know if you could tell, but normally the way that root, grow, root grows, it grows kind of like around the outside. Generally, if you can get your finger in the middle, you can kind of break away a lot of the dirt so that the root can detach a little. But I'm very gentle when I do this part because you don't want to cause um, your plant to go into shock. All right, so once you are done, this is kind of how it may look. Um, I don't know if you guys can see how much dirt I actually ended up taking off. It was quite a bit that was caked on there. So now we have, um, it's loose and those roots have the ability to grow and get the oxygen throughout the dirt that they need and the nutrients. And so now we are ready to put this in here. I kind of want it to sit about right here. So we're going to fill it until it comfortably sits about right there. All right, you guys, I have completely filled it, um, my container. Um, we have the drain layer at the bottom um, with the rocks, and then we have our layer of charcoal. Um, and I'm gonna show you guys the finished product. Here he is. Isn't that beautiful? And one added touch, um, we're gonna go back through in the end and we're gonna sprinkle a little bit of this uh, ground cover um, rocks just for decoration. And then we're gonna bring it to life. Now, my customers, when I tell them I'm gonna bring something to life, they normally look at me like, what? But I'm gonna show you guys how I bring my plant art to life. All right, so I just wanna put a little bit in there for this particular piece, I, I don't want to fill it completely with it just because of that that look of the container itself, almost like a marbled look. So I kind of put the rocks, let me show you guys what that looks like. Just a little rocks in there. And then we're going to, I'll be right back. I forgot you guys, I have to get our um, bugs Okay, thank you guys again. We have brought our piece to life. We have bugs on it. We have a, a drainage layer. This is our finished product. I thank you guys again for tuning in to Rooted in Sentiment. And I hope you guys stay rooted in sentiment. Um, definitely like and subscribe. Our next show, um, we will be looking at aquaponics. Um, I do sell uh, aquaponics. I have the beta fish. Um, we're going to put maybe some lucky bamboo in the bottom, put a little piece of lily on top. Um, and I'll show you that process of how the fish helps the plant and the plant helps the fish. So thank you guys again. Um, definitely stay rooted in sentiment and join me next time for another good show.